Okay, uh, Damien, the talisman for South Korea is Son. He's had a, another very, very good season uh, for Tottenham. What are his attributes and how much can he influence proceedings today? Yeah, he's their go-to man. Uh, he's got the lot for me. Uh, 22 million they bought him from Germany and he, he, he's done brilliant. He, he gets overshadowed by Kane and the likes of Ali and all, but I think that's due to maybe where Kane and Ali is from. Uh, I love this step over. Uh, happy to go on his left or his right. You know, he do, that's his go-to step over. You know where he's going to go doing it, but he's so good at, he's so good at delivering it that he, he still gets away from his man. He can finish. He's actually due to do uh, nearly two years, just under two years military service, so he's looking for an exemption uh, for that at the minute. And if the only way of doing it in South Korea, getting the exemption, is by doing well for your national team. So there's, I'm, tell, I'm telling you about it, there's a big weight in the shoulders for this, uh, for this tournament to go and do well to get out of that. But uh, a top-class player, he'll obviously play central for, for Korea because they want him involved all the time. He can't afford to be out in the wing. I pre actually prefer him in the wing, out in the left wing, cutting inside on yeah. a stronger right foot. But he'll play central because they just want him involved in absolutely everything. Well, if he's trying to avoid uh, military service, mandatory military service for a couple of years, uh, Son will certainly be doing everything he can to try and get a result for South Korea this afternoon. And listening to our panel, maybe it's not beyond the bounds of possibility. Maybe Sweden not the uh, strong, strong favourites that many people thought. But we will see. After the break, we'll be heading for a kickoff from the Nizhny Novgorod. And I uh, have to admit, I haven't, I haven't been there, but uh, we'll get to know it as it's the first of four visits to the city, which is one of only 100 in the world, we're told, that is designated a UNESCO. UNESCO World Heritage Site.